I've been working on what comes after Wasabi 2.0. And of course, there is no roadmap. But what I was trying to do is that I am trying to collect the ideas and somehow organize them into a coherent representation of them. And I came up with three categories. One would be maintenance, the other scaling, and the third is innovation. Regarding maintenance, it's uh, it's not only just maintenance, it's improving the existing things, right? That's, uh, that's where we will have to pay a lot of attention in the future. But other than that, uh, as we are growing, we are able to get into different things and and that's when scaling and innovation comes in. Now, in the innovation part, that's what all we've been doing so far with, with Wasabi Wallet. We were trying to make non-incremental, meaningful, significant improvements based on a lot of research. And now I believe we came to a point where significant improvements would be only possible if we could involve the Lightning Network, because in a, in a high level, the only issue left is that people who have low amount of value in their wallet, it's going to be expensive, maybe not today, but uh, you know, how do you scale a blockchain? You don't. So eventually it is going to get more and more expensive for low value people. And that's when the Lightning Network comes in and that's most likely is the future at this point. I think we can say that. So we started the Lightning Network Research Grant where we are trying to design a privacy oriented, but we gave out as a task, research task to, to design privacy guarantees for Lightning Network or, or, or do anything with that, right? Like, Maybe just do a survey on, on, hey, how private is Lightning Network? Because at this point, there are a lot of questions. But anyhow, that's, uh, that's, that's the direction we started going. And finally, the scaling part, which is going to be the next step. And scaling means we should enable the usage of Mustabi for more type of users. For example, there are four, four main things actually, but for example, one of the <laughs> the thing is that, well, guess what? Not everyone speaks English. So it would be good to have a localization. So that might be the next thing we are working on. It's it's not probably not as large as a job as the rest that I'm, I'm talking about. The other ones are going to other platforms, maybe mobile or or hardware wallet, native hardware wallet coin join integration. So currently people cannot do hardware wallets with, with, with coin joins that uh, cannot do coin joins with hardware wallets. <laughs> so, so that's, uh, that's, that would be quite cool if we could, uh, right? Because that's, that's a safer way to, to store your value, having it in a hardware wallet rather than in a hot wallet, right? Like in Wasabi right now. And the final category, which brings back to your question would be the developer tools. So there are projects those are interested in, in using Wasabi Wallet among some chain cases, if Dan is still here. Uh, so we would like to make, make things easier for, for them. And one of the way to make things easier for, for integrating Wasabi Wallet would be RPC and Daemon and well documented with nice user guides, maybe even video guides and tutorials, good project tutorials, right? Like that would be the ideal way to, to go about that. So, so that's when, where it comes in. As you can see, this is the headless mode of the study is certainly in the bucket of ideas that might come next, but but we did not decide yet. We don't have a roadmap. It's a, it's just an idea.